Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have got you this just adorable little tutorial how to make up these fabulous Halloween, Christmas, maybe wedding or party favours in this lovely triangular little pouch. Now you can hear these rattling nicely. I've actually put some skittles in here so they do, as I say, make wonderful Halloween treats. For these Halloween examples I've used paper from Echo Park. I will link that pad down below. Now you could decorate each one. I've added a little tag. Um, the Echo Park paper does come with some rather adorable, maybe not quite so scary stickers. So I've added some of those but I think sometimes the paper just speaks for itself. Now, as I say, you could make these up in maybe some festive papers. I've just added a sticker. These papers are actually from Hobbycraft. You could maybe make up a whole bowl full, add some numbers and use them in an advent calendar style way. Now the idea is that you make these up, you fill them full of sweets, whatever you have. It's quite a nice economical way because you don't need that many sweets to make them rattle. And to be honest, I think the children, if they come at Halloween, are going to be so excited about the papers. You know, the fact that it just rattles, all they do is then go home. And I'm going to do it. You just cut off one end. And there you have it. You've got some lovely candy in there or sweets. These are Skittles, but it just gives you a nice little pouch, something to hold on to while you're eating your sweets. Now this size is made up using papers that I've cut six by four inches. Now, obviously you can upsize these. Um, I have an example here. This one was made using a piece of paper six by six, so no need to cut them down if you want them just a little bit longer. Now you could go a lot bigger using exactly the same technique. I've used a 12 by 12 inch paper here. This would be ideal for gift wrapping, maybe a scarf, certainly a couple of pairs of socks. I've added a belly band, just a straight strip of card there or paper and then just a little decoration. Again, this is from Hobbycraft. This size here, I've used a size 12 by 10. So the 10 is the height. I haven't sealed at my second side here. I've just used a peg. You could add labels maybe if you are having a children's party or not necessarily children's adults party and you're watching movies, maybe you could use these to hold popcorn popcorn or snacks, whatever you want. So I've literally just sealed this side by using a peg. So once you know how to make these, the technique is just so simple. I'm just going to show you how to make this size here, which as I said, was using four by six inch paper. But once you know that technique, honestly, the um, the ideas are just endless. You could pop jewellery in here, just little gifts, whatever. But I think definitely my favourite idea is to fill them full of sweets. <laughs> so you're going to need your piece of paper. Now, you don't need to have it double sided at all. One of these sides will be inside. It's going to be six inches by four. You're going to need some double-sided red tape. Now I get mine from Hobbycraft. You're going to need some glue, a bone folder or just a blunt knife, a ruler and of course a pair of scissors. So we're going to take our piece of paper here and then we're going to turn it so that the four inch is at the top and what we need to do is just make this into a tube okay so for this i'm going to use my double-sided tape now this starts off red but once you take 
the backing away you can see it is actually clear but when you buy this in the shop you will see that it's red tape if you haven't got any red tape you could use glue you may have to just hold it nice and firm for some time when you're doing this first part just to make sure it's stuck nicely so I'm just going to trim those ends off then what we're going to do is take that backing off now I use this this is actually a Cricut tool but don't worry if you don't have one you can use maybe a darning needle or if you've got nice sharp nails you could use your nails and then all we're going to do is turn this into a tube so just do this nice and carefully once this red tape sticks it's you know good and solid but you need to line it up nicely just be careful there we go we have made our tube if you're using glue you will have a little bit more time a little bit more wiggle room there but if you are using glue you need to make sure maybe that this is dry before you go on to the next stage then what we're going to do is take our tube now I want the seam I don't want the seam to be directly at the back I want it to be slightly off center Okay, and then I'm just going to fold to start with, with my fingers, just press those edges down. And then we're just going to glue in here. So I have my art glitter glue. This dries really, really quickly. You can get this from Amazon or craft shops. And you can see, I'm not very good at doing this on camera, but you could just make a line of glue like so then you're just going to push that down again and then just hold to dry now this next bit is optional you don't have to do this I just like to make a nice sealed edge can you just look there I just feel it makes them look a little bit more professional so all I'm going to do is take my ruler, I'm just going to place it like so. I use these, um, these markings here on my ruler, I just line them up with the edge. I take my bone folder or my blunt knife and I'm just going to score just a couple of times and there it just looks like a nice seal. Now all we need to do is just turn our little pouch so that the point is this is facing down towards you and then we're just going to do the opposite so we're just going to push down this way again I do it with my fingers beforehand just makes it easier when I'm gluing push down those sides then again I'm going to glue here And then you're going to push down now this is the point and I'm forgetting because I'm not using sweets in the demonstration before you glue this end make sure you pop whatever it is be it sweets be it a gift in now okay otherwise you're not gonna be able to put it in once this is sealed it's sealed so I'm just going to hold that down again let that dry then again, I'm going to take my ruler. I normally do this this way around. I need to make it the same as the other side. So I'm using these marks. Take my bone folder or blunt knife and just add that score there, which makes it look like it's been sealed professionally. And there you have it. So I'm just going to make one more for you. I will speed it up. But as you can see, they literally take a couple of minutes to make.
So there you go, aren't they just adorable and so quick and easy to make up. Now let me know what you're going to be putting in yours, how you get on making these, how you get on decorating them. If you liked and enjoyed this tutorial, please do make sure you give me a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you here next time. Bye bye.